Hey, what's going on? Uh, today, I'm really excited because I want to talk about um, authority and how it's used with influence, persuasion, and how we can really benefit from this um, in getting what we want. Now, before I get started, uh, down below, there's a link in the description. If you click on it, um, there you can actually view what I believe to be the number one skill someone can actually learn uh, when it comes to making money online, internet marketing. Uh, now, right now, for some weird reason, I'm really interested in uh, persuasion, influence. I'm reading these books called Persuasion and Influence. Um, and one of the most powerful forces really is authority. Okay. Um, so what the heck is an authority? Well, authority is when someone's given the right to give orders um, and make decisions in an area. Um, and if you don't believe that's a big influencer when it comes to people. Uh, there's a study called the Milgram Experiment. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Um, well, there's this teacher in a lab coat and they, they told, they, they got these random people and they told these random people uh, to shock this other person if they gave a wrong answer, okay? And there were 30 switches, okay? And the volts went up from 15 volts to 450 volts, okay? Have you ever heard of this experiment before? Well, it's very, it's very interesting. Um, even though people were crying out and they were giving the wrong answers, they were acting like they were crying out. They weren't really shocked. 65% uh, of the people that were random, like two-thirds of them, continued to the highest level of 450 volts. Even though people were going, ah, help, it's not, I got medical conditions, stop, stop. The teacher life was like, continue to shock them. They're like, okay, boop, boop. Even though they're like, I don't want to do it, they listened to the authority. He was a big influence on that person, like huge, huge, huge influence. Um, persuaded the guy to do it, even though he didn't want it, really. Uh, so that's when it comes to authority, okay? Now, the interesting thing is they actually reversed the roles in the study, and they had it where the person wanted to get shocked, the teacher saying not to, and with a white lab coat, and guess who the person listened to? Yeah, the teacher, right? They didn't give a crap if they got one to get shocked. That's how big of an influence of the authority figure, you know, was, which is fascinating to me. So we've all been kind of conditioned since birth to respond to authority. Um, and I was just thinking about this earlier, but maybe it's because we're just lazy. We don't want to think, you know, so we just kind of like automatically just go, okay, let's get this person knows what he's talking about. So I'll just listen to it and blindly follow. Uh, and even if you look at the Bible, the first book in the Bible is described when Adam and Eve disobey the ultimate authority um, that produced a loss of paradise for them and the human race, really. So it's been conditioned since birth. I mean, I mean, think about this, right? Look how we've been trained to obey our parents since growing up and taking their advice was actually beneficial uh, for the most part, not always, <laughs> but for the most part. And, uh, you know, our parents control the reward, they control the punishments, um, and they have more wisdom than us. So we were conditioned to obey authority. And um, as adults, we still do it. Uh, we obey figures from judges to employers to government people, leaders, because, you know, maybe they have access to superior uh, information and power. Um, you know, maybe that's it, too. Why we listen to them? Uh, but obviously, it's not always beneficial. Um, and obviously, look at like, you know, World War II with like the Nazis and crap with a mass following. Uh, another really good book was um, The Great Leap Forward by China, where um, they actually turned capital, went communism, and it was like the biggest starvation in history. And if you follow what your leaders did, you starved and died. You had to kind of disobey leadership to survive. So <laughs> this is always... It doesn't always come into play to blindly follow people, really. Uh, look at a cult. There you go. So um, the million-dollar question is, how can we use this whole authority to really um, benefit ourselves or our career path? And well, I don't know, it sounds horrible saying benefit ourselves. But, you know, basically, uh, you know, use it to our advantage, really. Uh, you know. So whatever niche you're in, uh, then, of course, experience is going to come into play. 
and that's how you become an authority, really. Um, another really great book is Outliers um, by Malcolm Gladwell, and uh, it's a great book. Uh, anything by Malcolm Gladwell is really, really good, and he studies all these people who are very successful, and to be successful at something, it really, to be an authority on the subject, you know, uh, it takes a lot of time. Okay, and that's just the way it is. You can't expect to be good if you invest a little bit of time into it. And a lot of people, we have short attention spans. We quit things too quickly. Um, you have to put in the work to get the reward. And when you first start, you're going to suck. And just expect that. And then there's a point where, you know, it's like you break through that and you can become a lot better. And of course, there's the ways to shorten that suckiness period, that learning curve through mentors and education right that helps um but it, it's, it's gonna take time and that's how you become an authority sit you can't fake it i think am i wrong you let me know uh, but results speak and that comes from putting in the time uh the next one which is another huge influence is social proof and how to become an authority is social proof too uh i did a, a, a video a while ago on social proof and it really is a very powerful I wonder which is more powerful, authority or social proof when it comes to influence. I don't know. I would say social proof is actually more powerful because social proof gives somebody authority. What do you think? Huh? I just thought about that. But it's kind of interesting how social proof plays. It's almost like we're like sheep. It's, there's a lot of truth to that. <laughs> it's very powerful. Uh, in this book called Persuasion, which is really interesting, uh, the author of this experiment, right? to uh, get people to conserve energy in their home. And he tried four messages, okay? And three of the messages talked about reasons to conserve energy, like you know, saving the environment. It's gonna like put more money in your pocket. It's a socially responsible thing to do. None of that crap worked. What did work? Well, uh, your fellow community residents are doing it. They're conserving energy. So talking about what other people were doing, influenced them uh he said 3.5 times as much energy huge you know i mean um it was the big influencer of all the messages we, we care so much about what our peers think and um you know it just you know that's why we you know we keep up with the joneses and we we buy expensive stuff in a lot of ways to impress other people so this, this is really interesting and uh, social proof, um, the way I look at it, how do you build social proof? There, there's a tipping point, um, which comes from work. Uh, that's another Malcolm Gladwell book, Tipping Point, right? Uh, you know, I'm not gonna try, I'm not trying to brag too much, but I had another YouTube channel where I worked my butt off and I didn't see any results. And, do, 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 do. and then there's this tipping point where it just exploded. <laughs> You know, and that's it's just like that book tipping point. You won't see any results, but all of a sudden, bam, you'll hit it. And the same thing with becoming an authority, with experience and everything. Um, like the outliers, that book too. There's a tipping point. Uh, so that's how you build social proof. Um, you know, that's just my two thoughts on how to use authority and influence. Um, so let, let me talk about another thing. Um, if you're interested in making money online, there's a learning curve. It, you know, I've been at this for a while. There's been times where I've been made shit. Um, you know, now I'm making some okay money. But the way to really, one of the things that I've really learned through all my struggles is you got to know how to sell online. If you don't know how to sell, you're not going to make no damn money. Um, and the real secret to making money online, it's relationship building. It really is. Sounds cheesy, but there's a lot of money you can make after that first sale if you know what you're doing. Um, and, you know, it, it, it's not easy. Um, the way to shorten that curve, because I've been at it for a while, is learn from somebody who's better than you, a mentor. Um, I found a mentor who was really, really good. Uh, he's been doing it for a long time, makes a lot of money. Um, and that's the person that I, I go to, you know, and... Um, He'll go ahead and show you uh, these skills, which you kind of need for internet marketing, or how to sell, which is important, how to close, and what to do after that first sale. Um, so if you want to learn more about that, just click on that link below, because uh, I don't want to see you 
spend a bunch of energy and time, make no money, don't get the results. It's just, it's kind of frustrating. I know from personal experience. Okay, so I hope this video was beneficial. You liked it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Um, I appreciate your time. And hey, have a great rest of your day. Bye for now.